This is Lesson 2.5, Postulates and Paragraph Proofs. Your objectives are to identify and use basic postulates about points, lines, and planes, and to write paragraph proofs. A postulate is a statement that is accepted as true, and it describes fundamental relationships in geometry. Basically, what you need to know is that a postulate is the foundation of geometry. It is the rules upon which all other rules are built. Our first seven postulates are in the table there. Do not name them by their number. Instead, name them by what they say. Through any two points, there is exactly one line. Through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. A line contains at least two points. A plane contains at least three non-collinear points. If two points lie in a plane, then the entire line containing those points lies in the plane. If two lines intersect, then their intersection is exactly one point. And if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. So when you name these, name them by what they say, not by the number. Those numbers simply mean the first postulate of chapter 2, the second postulate of chapter 2, and so on. Name them by what they say. Determine whether each statement is always, sometimes, or never true. Number one, a line contains exactly one point. Well, that postulate says a line contains at least two points. So this is never true. Number two, non-collinear points R, S, and T are contained in exactly one plane. Well, since through any three non-collinear points there is exactly one plane, this statement is always true. Number three, any two lines L and M intersect. Well, that postulate says if two lines intersect, then their intersection is exactly one point. So we know lines can intersect, but parallel lines do not intersect. So this would be sometimes. Sometimes they intersect in exactly one point, and sometimes they don't intersect at all. Number four. If points G and H are contained in plane M, then segment GH is perpendicular to plane M. Well, that postulate says if two points lie in a plane, then the entire line containing those points lies in a plane. Not perpendicular to the plane, but in the plane. So that statement is never true. Number five, planes R and S intersect in point T. However, that postulate says if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line, not a point. So statement five is never true. Number six, if points A, B, and C are non-collinear, then segments A, B, B, C, and C, A are contained in exactly one plane. This uses two of the postulates. First of all, through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. So we know that the three points, since they're non-collinear, are in one plane. We also know that if two points lie in a plane, then the entire line containing those points lies in the plane. So if those three points are in the one plane, then the segments that are drawn between them are also in the plane. That statement is always true. Make sure you study those postulates and you know them without having to refer to them because those postulates and all other postulates are the building blocks of the rest of geometry.
In the figure, segment AC and segment DE are in plane Q, and segment AC is parallel to segment DE. State the postulate that can be used to show each statement is true. Number 7. Exactly one plane contains points F, B, and E. Well, refer to your postulates. Which one talks about three points and being in one plane? And since points F, B, and E are non-collinear, we'll use the postulate. Through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. Number 8. Line BE lies in plane Q. Well, look at your postulates. Which one talks about a line being in a plane? And that would be if two points lie in a plane, then the entire line containing those points lies in the plane. Since points B and E are in plane Q, then the line containing them is also in plane Q.